Hey, hey, what? Ray Mac, hey, what? Hey, what? Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. Love and not hate. Welcome to Ray Mac's Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Love and not hate. Hey YouTube fam, YouTube fam, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Today we're gonna cook outside on the grill. It's a little cloudy outside today, y'all, but we're gonna do this thing anyway. So let me show you exactly what I got here. I got some homemade barbecue sauce. You can use whatever type of barbecue sauce you can get your hands on too. Alright. Then we got some of this here Charlie Mills seasoning. Alright, and I'm gonna leave a link down below where you can definitely buy this, or you can just go ahead and call this number right here. All right, call this number direct if you want to buy a bag of this. A bag like this costs five bucks. Check the check Charlie Mills out on um and ask them about this seasoning right here. This is what I'm gonna use for my pork chop. All right, and then I have some onions, some sliced up onions, and in this container is the Charlie Mills. All right, so I just put it in this little shaker, and this will work best for me. And I have some. Pork chops. So the only thing I want to do with these pork chops, I'm not going to season them with anything else except for the Charlie Mills. So all I'm going to do is sprinkle this Charlie Mills on here. And you can use whatever seasonings you like, but if you guys want to try this Charlie Mills, go ahead and order some. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip these over. I'm going to put a hole in my pan. This side with Charlie Mill seasoning. This is some good stuff right here, y'all. Tell me. Now the reason why I use this shaker is because let me show you. If you can see, Charlie Mill's got these red pepper flakes on the inside. I like using the shaker so I can control how much red pepper flakes I use, right? And the only thing I do with the red pepper flakes is just sprinkle it. Grab some and I just sprinkle it so I can control how much of that red pepper seasoning that I really want to use in this here um, recipe. Alright, now I'm going to take my onion. I'm just going to lay them right on top because I'm putting this whole thing on the grill. Just want to spread these out evenly. And I hope everybody is doing okay. This is the time to get outside and grill, y'all. And I'm going to try to show y'all some recipes that you can do easily without a lot of headaches. Now, let's go ahead and take this to the grill. All right, so right now, I got the grill preheated at 250 degrees, both thermometers. This side is a little bit more higher than this side. And I'm gonna explain this grill to y'all later. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on the grill. All right, we're gonna open the lid up. I'll explain this to y'all later, all right? Matter of fact, I can explain it to you right now. So, I got this grill built by 
a guy, his name is Jared. Let me see if I can get you over here. His name is Jared um, Oaks. And I found him on Facebook and he built this grill for me. But I'm gonna explain it to you. But look at these pork chops. Everything is gonna be good up in here. So let's close this lid and get it to grill. All right, so I got four little dollops of butter right here, right? I wanna put this butter on these little chops. I just want to throw them on there. Just four little dollars. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. That's it. Close the lid back up. Alright, so what I want to do now, let me show you. And I do know I got this rotisserie in the way, so I can take this out. So I just want to show y'all this real, real quick. This is my first time using it, like I said. So what I want to do now is just take these pork chops. I want to get the onions off to the side. Cause I'm going to leave these onions in this pan. I want to take my chops and just put them on the rack. So I let these cook in this pan for at least around about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. So we're gonna do the rest of them just like this and we'll be back, all right? All right, so we got our pork chops on the grill grate. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump the juice out of this and put the pan back on to the um, grill and I'm gonna close the lid and stay tuned so don't go nowhere. All right, y'all, so now what I'm gonna do is take the pork chops and I just wanna put them back in the pan barbecue sauce like I said you can use um, whatever barbecue sauce of your choosing I'm trying to open this without spilling it so I made this homemade I just want to take it slather it right on up on there Good barbecue sauce. Spread it on the top. Okay. Now I want to slide this. I don't know if over there. Let it cook. And I'm going to close this up. Matter of fact, yeah, I'm going to close this on up. All right, y'all. I just want to get it a nice look. Oh, yeah. Coming along pretty good. I'm going to get these one flip. After that, they ready to um, serve up. Put this on a sandwich. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's looking good, y'all. Italian is looking good. Put the sauce up in there. All right, y'all, these right here is the finished result. For the pork chop, I'm finna go put this on the sandwich and smack down. Hey, give that season a try, y'all. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. it. Smells so good up in here. And I'll break down this grill to y'all again in the upcoming videos. I'm gonna use this rotisserie. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to fix this sandwich up. Look, y'all, thank y'all for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love y'all, but give this a try. It looks so good. 
Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So, like I said, this right here is a 55 gallon grill, two thermometers on each side, left and right, and it has some nice little latches on here. Now, this right here that y'all see, the little grease that you see dripping down. I season this here grill and I season the lid and some of the grease start to run down on the side. So that's what that grease is. Like I said, nice little latches, beautiful handle, beautiful handle. And then you got your smoke stacks. This right here is custom made. This is a custom made 55 gallon grill and my man Jared did an awesome job on this. And I'm talking about, man, as you can see the, the um, rack for this here is nice. And even if you can look at some of this, like I say, some of his work, his welding work, as you can see here, and I mean, this is professionally done, y'all. And the man really hooked this here up. And on the legs, it has some um, locking wheels, and I had to level this out a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So this is my first cook on it. Don't mind my lawnmower, that's my lawnmower. But the only thing that I had to do to this is put this drip pan on it. So he did fix a little on um, drip hole. So I went to um, Lowe's and got one of these grease pans and I just added it on that and that's about it. So with this grill, it is ran by gas, propane, and you could also use charcoal on this here too. So it's a gas charcoal um, grill along with a rotisserie on there. And I'm excited about that rotisserie. I'm telling you the honest God truth. So I got this grill and I call this the Jared Collection. Why did I call it the Jared Collection? Because of this. I got me a fire pit that he also made. Got a lid, got a hood on it. You know what I'm saying? And I've been using this here fire pit. And as you can see, that's a removable grate removable grate nice and that thing cooks up something good y'all and we got a nice little lid with the handle that's um nice right there fire pit like i say to um grill and you can sit outside with your friends conversate and cooking stuff like that outside the other collection piece that i got right here as you can see this is a top this is a fryer double fryer that's what it is it's a double fryer and this is ran by propane too with the lid nice legs sturdy legs on this here and you got two burners gas burners and they each run on separate propane propane tank so each burner has its own tank so i fried up a lot of stuff up in this here um fryer right here pork chop chicken fish you know what i'm saying so if you want to cook fish on one side, cook fish on one side. Chicken on the other side, cook chicken on the other side. Fry you some potatoes, fry you some fries. Fry whatever you want. Like I said, I'm loving this lid. <coughs> and he got a drain system. As you can see, the holes that are in there. Once you're finished cooking and your grease is cool, you got a drain system. Open these up here and you can drain out the um, grease into your container and if you're like me I like reusing my, my grease so this is the Jarrett Oaks collection fryer double fryer then I bought the um, 55 gallon grill and then I bought the fire pit all right fire pit also can converts into a grill like I said you can sit outside chill relax with your friends or whatever like that now if some of y'all are interested in um, some of the creations that Jared do um, create, he can ship anywhere in the United States. I'm going to leave a link to his um, um, YouTube, no, I'm sorry, not YouTube, but Facebook um, page where you can get in touch with him. And I'm also going to leave a phone number so you can call him directly. He does live here in Durham, North Carolina. And I'm loving this here grill. I'm telling you the honest God truth. So I'll be back and show you the results of the pork chop. And this is my first cook on this here grill.